The iPhones are great devices and they are also really fast, but sometimes these very long and slow animations don't really add to this experience. It may seem that it is kind of slow that you have to wait so long until one application actually opens up, so it just really takes long for me. So in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can remove these animations running the latest version of iOS 11, or pretty much any version of iOS, so let's just begin right now. If this is your first time here on the channel, you should begin with clicking the subscribe button and that means you will never miss anything important in the future, any iOS update video or any tips and tricks, so you will always be updated. So what's up everybody, this is the Apple Fox channel here and you probably know about this method. If you head over to the settings and you scroll down to find general section and accessibility, you can see that we have this tab called reduce motion and if you turn this on and after you come back to the home screen you can see that there is no animation. If you open up settings for example or switch back and forth between apps it doesn't matter every application you're trying to open will not have any animation. So for example you go like this you can see that there isn't any animation and if this is the thing you wanted to have and if you are already satisfied with this then it is okay. But I'm going to show you another method which is based on a glitch which may be fixed in the future but right now it still works in the latest version of iOS and that method actually makes these animations even faster because if you open up settings for example you can still see that you have to wait just a little bit until it fades out and fades in but with this glitch you don't have to wait anything and you are instantly inside the app it is kind of glitchy here in the iOS 11 so when you have the reduced motion turn on you're gonna experience some glitches or bugs so Apple should really work on this but I think that not many people are using this because as you can see it's just really sticky and it just doesn't make sense to use it this way at least for me so that's why this glitch method will be really useful for many people so how do you get this glitch to work? So you have to hold down to the power button. This is basically the power button or it's called the side button on the iPhone 10. But we just want to turn off this device. So on the iPhone 10 you also have to hold down to the lower volume button and also the side button at the very same time until you see this menu. So just like you would normally want to turn off the iPhone. Slide this power slider to the middle and press the power button or the side button once. Now as you can see we actually have a black screen and right now you have to activate Siri. So hold down to the power button or the home button and ask Siri to open anything up. Open up App Store. Now you have to type in the passcode in order to get inside and you will be able to see that right now I am inside the App Store and now we come back to the home screen. It should be working but it doesn't for some reason. As you can notice, there was this animation when I was actually getting out of the App Store. For some reason, I couldn't get it to work on the iPhone 10 because of the lag like, of the home button, but with the other devices, with the other iPhones that actually have the home button, and also with the iPad, it should be working properly. With this iPhone 10, for some reason, it doesn't always work, but let me bring the iPad in order to demonstrate what it will look like. So once again, uh, the very same steps. Steps, hold down to the power button, uh, bring the slider to the middle and press the home button once. Now invoke Siri and ask to open up YouTube. You'll need to unlock your iPad first. So after I unlock it using my passcode or touch ID, You can notice that there wasn't any animation and if I come back, so let's open up settings for example, you can see we are instantly inside. It's just really amazing, just take a look at this. We are like switching through apps without any animation and it is even faster than the reduced motion. At some point it will definitely stop working. Of course Apple will fix it one day but also for example if you turn off the iPad and turn it back on then you have to repeat all of the steps once again in order to have no animations because the effect will be gone probably. But if I lock and then unlock the iPhone you will be able to notice that now we already have the animations back. So I don't really think that it would make sense to use it all the time because you don't even have the option to use it all the time you would have to repeat all of the steps every time you get inside the iPad which is really annoying but it's kind of nice to see that something like this is even possible and I just also really like to play around with the iOS it would be nice to have an option to use it all the time but at least we have the reduced motion which you can turn on anytime and 
the animations will sort of disappear but you can still see the fading in and fading out which also takes some time so it's not as fast as this method but this will stay on your iPhone or iPad forever. If you have reduced motion you don't have to worry about Apple patching this because it is not a glitch it is just a feature. So yeah if you turn on reduced motion it will stay forever on the iPhone or iPad. So this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found this useful or interesting and if you did just like all the time leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed it. For more content like this make sure to press the subscribe button because uh, that will make you informed about when I post a new video and you will never miss anything important. So have a nice day and see you in the next video guys. Peace out.